Hello guys, I'm Ritu Raj, a computer science engineering student at VIT Valor. I'll, I would be your course instructor for uh, statistics for engineers MAT 2001. So prerequisite for this subject is MAT 1011 calculus for engineers. So we, we would be starting with our module one that is introduction to statistics. The very first topic is introduction to statistics and data analysis measures of central tendencies. Now under this a mean median mode then comes measures of absolute variation range quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation and their coefficients the second half is very important teacher uh, prefer giving questions from the second half uh, they can give question from the first half also like uh, they would ask uh, they would give a data a class interval data and they'll uh, ask you to calculate mean median mode all three then we move on to module 2 that is random variables this module uh, is like uh, a good module and and it can confuse you if you don't understand the topic but don't you worry uh, i'm there for you i'll make it easy for you so uh, second uh, module is random variables the first topic under it is introduction random variables then probability mass function distribution and density function joint probability distribution joint density function then comes marginal conditional distribution and density function then mathematical expectations and its property covariance moment generating function characteristic function so uh, from this topic uh, teachers can give a question from anywhere like this is a totally uh, new topic a new kind of uh, module the very first module which is different from what you have learned earlier in your school days so this this module is very important and a, a module which you will have to pay attention and uh, try to understand well then uh, comes module 3 correlation and regression correlation and regression is the first topic then rank correlation then partial and multiple correlation then multiple regression these topics are very simple uh, you just need to understand a bit and then you can apply the formula and uh, like uh, you can solve the questions very easily then comes module 4 that is probability distribution this module is like uh, interesting module you need to understand the logic and uh, you need to understand some tricks and then you're good to go binomial and poison distribution is the first topic then normal distribution then gamma distribution then exponential distribution then weeble distribution uh, usually teacher uh, give questions from the first two topic these two topics are re like really very very important mm and then the third most important topic here is exponential distribution and sometimes they can give questions from gamma and people also now the fifth module is like different from all the other four modules uh, it is hypothesis testing one uh, believe me this topic is very very easy i uh, don't uh, like uh, get afraid of the name uh, it involves testing of hypothesis first we need to get the introduction then types of error critical region procedure of testing hypothesis large sample test this module uh, in this model we will we would be dealing with the large sample tests that is a z test single proportion difference of proportion mean and difference of mean next model is model 6 that is continuation of model 5 hypothesis testing 2 in the last module we uh, we would uh, we we have seen uh, large sample test in this module we would see small sample tests students t test f test chi square test goodness of fit, independence of attribute, design of experiments, analysis of variance, one and two way classification, CRD, RBD and LST. Then comes the most easy and scoring topic that is model seven, reliability. Uh, this model is like very, very easy and you can easily score 10 marks from this module. Uh, this module has uh, some formulas. You just need to understand the formula and how to apply them to the questions and it won't take you even 10 minutes to solve the question and you would score uh, 10 marks for that like uh, it's just very easy and, and it includes hazard function reliabilities of series and parallel system system reliability maintainability preventive and repair maintenance affability mostly the question comes from maintainability or hazard function uh, like they would give a function and then you need to um, calculate a few things which are also like formula based then uh, for uh, reference you can use these books the first one is probability and statistics for engineers uh, and scientists from uh, ninth edition second one is reference book 
probability and statistics and reliability for engineers and scientists bilal m i i u and uh, it is third edition crc press so uh, be ready get up for your start of statistics for engineers i will be continuing from the next lecture with module one till then take care be safe stay home also don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel so i am vit and yeah all the best <laughs>